Hello amigos, it's Casaus here, and we recently got a brand new trailer for the up-and-coming DreamWorks movie, Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken. If you recall, we got the very first trailer two months ago, and it caused a lot of talk, especially due to the mermaid character, Chelsea, kind of bringing back the whole DreamWorks tradition of poking fun at Disney. After all, this is not the first time Ariel's got the heat. But after two months of radio silence and practically no marketing over a film that is set to be released on June 30th, people started wondering what was going on. Well, it seems the wait is over. This new trailer shows us more of the fantasy world of Ruby Gilman, a 16-year-old who discovers that she's part of a royal lineage of mythical sea krakens. Despite her newfound destiny, Ruby struggles to fit in with her peers at Oceanside High. Hinting there might be a little bit of denial from her part at first in an attempt to fit in as a regular human. Although I don't even know how that's possible since even in her human form, she's blue and has little fins instead of ears and her hands, okay, never mind. To quote her grandma, people are stupid. Like with the old trailer, this one offers a mix of action, comedy and coming of age elements, promising an entertaining and engaging experience for all audiences. But we do get a mention of Ruby's mom in this one. Apparently, she took part in hiding the Kraken side of the family. This aligns with the official summary where we learn that the mom forbids her from going to the beach. Maybe she didn't want to put that pressure on her daughter, as we later see a scene where she claims to be having a panic attack. I know, I know, it's been a frequent topic in animated media lately. I'll say I'm happy that we're more open in talking about mental health and normalizing topics like anxiety, but I do get the point that it has to be managed in a sensible and respectful way. That way, we don't trivialize it as a trend and send the wrong message to the young people. Like in Vilma. Anyways, in the first scene we see Ruby diving into the ocean and transforming into a full-blown crack which makes me think the activation of her powers is in a way related to the contact with salty water. We get more shots of the main antagonist Chelsea, a snobbish mermaid and a popular new girl at Oceanside High. She is aware of Ruby's mythical origins, even before her, so while she clearly undermines humans, there seems to be some sort of respect directed at Ruby, in the sense of seeing her as a worthy opponent at least. We also got some more scenes with Connor, Ruby's skater boy crush, who also seems to have a special interest in her, even though she's awkward AF every time she's around him. Additionally, we get more rhetoric of Krakens as misunderstood gentle giants and protectors of the sea. It seems humans got the lore all mixed up and were tricked by mermaids' beauty into thinking they are benevolent creatures. Fun fact, mermaids are usually confused with sirens in media. On one hand, mermaids are half-fish women from European mythology that were usually described as harmless and avoided contact with humans. Sirens, on the other hand, are half-birth women from Greek mythology that possess hypnotic singing voices to lure sailors to their death. DreamWorks might be relying on the latter, describing mermaids as narcissistic and destructive, of course making a satire of the usual fairy tale route Disney takes and making an interesting premise for the movie. Win-win for them, I suppose. So what do you think of the new trailer? Will you watch the movie when it releases? Summer is usually a very competitive time for the movie industry, so we'll see how it goes for Ruby Gilman. Don't forget to like and comment your thoughts on the movie. See you on the next one, guys. Bye!